Hundreds of people gathered in Bow Island today to remember and mourn the loss of Megan Rose, the 18-year-old woman who was hit and killed by a train May 31st. Friends describe Megan as an active young woman who loved school, music and crafts. Jeanette Roche reports. Tears are shed as a small community collectively pauses on a Monday morning to pay tribute to a young woman who touched so many lives. I've known Megan since she was a baby since she was an infant so it's just it's just really hard for everybody and for the family she was so fun to be around she had amazing positive energy all the time she reflected on all of us and she could seriously brighten your day yeah anytime. she could brighten your day i've never seen her upset or mad or anything hundreds gathered at cherry cooley christian academy to remember the 18 year old who was tragically hit by a train while crossing the tracks on foot on the morning of May 31st. Witnesses say it appeared she was wearing headphones and reading and wasn't aware the train was approaching. It's so shocking, first of all, and Megan's such a beautiful child, gone too soon. But today it's not the tragedy that's being focused on. It's the young woman with the big smile and even bigger heart who volunteered her time in the community and loved playing volleyball. Not only did this small community stop their Monday morning to come and pay respect, but many stepped forward and helped the family pay for the funeral. Karina Roth Beacom is with 40 Mile Community Resource Services, where Megan spent time as a volunteer. The organization offered to funnel donations to assist the family. It certainly shows the you know impact she had. She was a wonderful young lady, um, big smile, big eyes, uh, willing to help out with the youth in the community where she could. And I think it just shows how the rural communities wrap their arms around people when they're especially in need. And today, it's the community who will embrace each other while looking for closure and a way to move forward. Jeanette Roche, CTV News, Bow Island. The family is asking that memorial gifts in Megan's memory be made to the charity of your choice.